We are talking about one of the worst toxic algae blooms that we have seen in a while in the Gulf Coast in Florida. And joining us now from Moat Marine Laboratory in Sarasota, Florida, we have Dr. Tracy Finera. And Dr. Finera, we've been talking about how this has been such a horrible, horrible outbreak. What have been the biggest impacts that you have seen so far? And what are some of the cities that or counties that have been hardest hit by this bloom? All right, so this bloom has been around since October, November, um, and and it was mostly in southern counties like Lee County. It came up to Sarasota County, and then it, it went back down and lingered. Then um, recently, probably about a month ago, uh, we started getting those Sarasota counts, and that's when um, it started seeming like it was increasing in concentration. I started getting uh, reports of intense respiratory irritation and and many dead fish on beaches through the beach conditions reporting system. So right now it's really highly concentrated in uh, southern Sarasota counties. And I would say the, the largest effects are um, the mammal the mammal death. We recovered nine dolphin um, a couple days ago and, and manatee and, and as many as 154 sea turtles. It's um, not confirmed but it's but it's probable that they were from the red tide bloom and doctor can you tell me what role does the weather in the area play when it comes to the blooms that's a really good question it's something that we are looking into i actually had an intern project do a preliminary study looking at how storm events or or hurricanes and the turbulence and shear stress that the water experiences how that affects um, red tide as far as any kind of dissipation uh, so we're in the process of analyzing those results right now and probably have to do another run through but but when you say weather it, it there's so many different factors um, that come into play just like light rainfall what do uh, surface water runoffs temperature for example temperature uh, comes into play with any kind of phytoplankton thank you so much for that very interesting information that was dr tracy finera from moat marine laboratory in sarasota florida a great reminder that if you are planning on going to any of those impacted gulf coast beaches just make sure you check in on those current conditions before you head out